show you my gear that I'm going to be packing for Memorial Day weekend camping trip. All right, I'm going to start from bottom to top, okay? This is my Climate V, Static V um, sleeping mat. It packs in, you know, nice and comfy into this. I'm going to show you. Just blow this up. A few blows, I'm good. And I'm good for the night. Ugh, very comfortable. Packs very light. It's well worth it to have a good you know layer between you and the ground. It's a nice little like a mat, a camping mattress that you can bring. You know, very durable material. Very good. Packs light. Good insulator. Buy it. Use it. Whatever. Um, I have my two sandal options. I don't. I'm not gonna pack both. Obviously, whatever I feel I want to bring. Because my source is my Keen. They're both really good. Recommend. My Dana boots. Very waterproof. Very comfortable. And I've been using these for years. I like hunting boots because you can use them for pretty much anything. Great material. Great company. Made in America. Um, right here I got my walking sticks. I got my two hiking sticks. Or you can go on the trail and carve out your own walking stick. I like this one better. Um, never leave home without this. Oh, Lord. Don't leave home without this. And don't use poison ivy if you leave them without this. Um, I got my spear batteries, I got my Amazon batteries, it's supposed to last a long time. Um, this is my Saddleback, good quality leather wallet. You know, I'm an outdoorsman, I need a good compact wallet. This is their ID series. Um, Saddleback is a company based in Texas. You know, 100 year warranty on all their products. Their motto is, uh, they'll be fighting over, over it when you're dead. I like it. Um, I got my few knife options. I got my Mora, my Mora Swiss blade knife. I use that for filleting. This is my, you know, carving knife. I got this from a gun show in PA, um, massive steel, brass, and, you know, antlers for the handle. This is my Smith & Wesson Search and Rescue knife. I use this for my bushcraft, for building and carving. Um... This is my Baco folded saw. I use this to slice wood. It's light. It looks cheap, but it's not. I mean, it costs 20 bucks, but it's quality. Um, this is also made, the blade is made somewhere in Scandinavia. The Scandinavians are very good with their blades. Yeah. Very light, cuts through pretty much some serious logs. And it has this little leather line right over here. Um, I have two different sharpener options. I have the Swiss Army, you know, Veronix, um, made in Germany. This is alright, not too great. Little guy. And this is the Work Sharp um, field uh, sharpener. You can fish, you can, you know, have a few options over here. I'm not sure what everything means yet, but uh, you can, I know you can sharpen fishing hooks. That's pretty cool. Knives and axes and all kinds of things. Um, I got my, for illumination, I have my little uh, $3 aluminum body. It's alright, it's a good headlamp. I mean, not good, I mean, this is a good headlamp. I got three bucks in a hardware store, you can find these anywhere. This is my Black Diamond, I definitely recommend the Black Diamond headlamps. They're very good, very bright, they have a few different settings, I'm not going to get into that now. But this is rugged, I, I wore this in the rain even. This is just, I don't know if it's even waterproof, but I have wore it in the rain, it's still like brand new. Very bright, good for hiking at night, use it, buy it, whatever. Uh, I go out with, you know, a few lighters and my flint and steel. Got this for like a few bucks on Amazon. Well worth it. It's always good to have multiple ways of starting a fire. And I go out there with this little empty mitt can. I can add a little finger to that. Um, whatever I find along the way, I can, uh, you know, just slip some tinder into there. This is my extra batteries I have. I'll, you know, Anchor and some other random company. You know, so I can recharge my cell phone or whatever other electronics I have out there that I want to recharge. Like my little Bluetooth, Bluetooth speaker I bring out there for some, you know, this is some tunes. Uh, I have my Rent the Rain pad. And my Fisher Space Pen. You know, you can write in the, you know, gravity pen, whatever. It always writes until it's empty. Worth it. I have my waterproof bag, I have extra can of beaters, um, 
Here's my filter. My Sawyer water filter can filter out 100,000 gallons of water. It clean, you can clean it with a syringe, and this is an extra bag that comes with you. Fill it up with water, filter it out. Always go out there with a water filter. You never know, just in case. You don't want to get bacteria that will cause you stomach viruses or parasites. Don't drink wild water. You know, when in, when in doubt, go without. That goes with plants in the wild. Anything in the wild, when in doubt, go without. You could die. Um, sunscreen. You can use, you know, army face paint if you want to. I don't do that. Sunscreen over here, or you can smudge some mud on your face. That works too. Um, here's about, here's how to stay clean. This is uh, Camp Suds. They are, this is a really great company. It's all-purpose soap. You can use it to clean your, your, your face, your hair, your body, your clothing, and you can wash dishes with it. Wash your dishes. You don't want bacteria. You don't want viruses. Um, this is a backpacker's cologne. I love this. This is from this uh, company called Juniper Ridge. All the products are made in America. They name their colognes based on the area that they do their harvest on. These are a few backpackers. They just hike through the woods and they have a mobile distillery and they harvest some wild plants that smell awesome and they make they 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 distill their, their their soaps and their colognes on the spot. This one smells like pine, you just apply it like this, pull on your hand, face. Ah smell the Sierra Nevada woods right here. Um Okay. Let's talk shelters. Okay, I have my two hammocks. I have my Hennessy hammock. This is the best shelter I've ever used in my life. Um, this has this is a um, hammock that you that cocoons you in with a mosquito net and a tarp. You can remove or put you know keep the tarp there or remove it uh, if it's raining. I've slept a week in this thing and stay dry. It's an amazing. It's not so heavy. Let's do three pounds, two ounces. Not so bad. A lot lighter than the tent. Um, this is for ultralight backpacking, ultralight. This is a Grand Trunk, $20 on Amazon. This is like a small hammock, and the way I tie this up is with some 550 cord between two trees. And if you're gonna, if it's raining, you just bring an extra tarp with you, go to Home Depot, pick up a tarp, and use that for rain protection. This is a two-person tent. I do not use these anymore, but I'm just showing you. You can if you want to. This is quite heavy. Big and bulky, don't like it, but teach their own. Um, navigation, let's talk navigation. Always go with maps. I bet you don't get lost. Know your area well, do some research, bring maps, bring a compass. I, you know, for emergencies, bring my Garmin Dakota 20, uh, you know, rugged uh, GPS system that has all the hiking trails. You can buy a ship for any region pretty much in the world, I think. This is, you know, they have all, at least, for sure, all North America. Um, I always bring extra pegs with me. This is my first aid kit. This is, I'm not going to do a full review on this, maybe one day. Uh, this is Adventure Medical Kits. This is a great, great medical kit. Um, this is not just a regular little first aid. This is, this has pretty much a lot more. This is not a first aid kit. This is a medical kit. It's a lot better. It has, you know, it's big and it's heavy, but if you're going with a big group of people like I will be going with, I want to be prepared. So I bring this, they have medications, they have every bandage you need, all the creams you need, and they have a C splint in there as well. This, this is just a great, great thing to have. Uh, let's move on. This is my sleeping bag. I, I mean, I'm going to get a smaller one one day, but but this is great. This is a good one. I don't really know how to pronounce this company, but whatever, it's great. <clears throat> let's talk clothing. I have my hats. Always cover your heads when you're hiking, when you're out there in the sun. You don't let your head go unguarded because you can dehydrate faster and hypothermia and whatnot. Heat strokes. This is a uh, saw this on Survivor. Decided to get it. Show Survivor. This is a buff. I love buffs. This is a mossy elk edition. You can use it for many things. One scarf, little hoodie, you know, face mask, um, pirate's hat. <laughs> Um, you have your sweatband, this band, and uh, my favorite is the skull cap. Twist it over here, pop it down there. Head scarf, head skull cap, and you're good.
Okay, let's talk other clothing. Want to stay warm at night, bring extra sweaters. This is for summer camping, so yeah, I'm not packing like some serious coats or anything. This is just some sweaters I have. I have this Mossy Oak sweater I got for 10 bucks Walmart. This I got for also, you know, 15 bucks Walmart. This Wrangler, you know, extra layer on top. This is my Mountain Hardware sweater. It's the Monkey Man edition, and it's very soft, very comfy. Very comfy. I love it. Very soft. Um, Mountain Hardware is amazing. Love it. Um, these are little things that you get in the military to, uh, you put them around your foot. You use rubber bands as well, but when you're with your pants, you just twist your pants up. Like you tuck the, your, the sleeve of your pants up in here, and it holds your pants up by the area. So let's say you're walking into rivers or muddy areas, you don't want bugs or snakes or whatever, or you, you know, crawling up your pants. This is, the military is very into like tucking your pants in on top when you're out there in the field. I bring my little laundry bag, I want to separate my clothing, clean from the dirty. Stay sanitary out there, everybody. If you get sick there, take care of yourself. The same way you take, yourself, take care of yourself at home, take care of yourself out there as well. Stay clean, t stay sanitary. Extra underpants, socks. I have my dry fit shirt when I go hiking, an extra shirt, a long sleeve layer. Keep them while, when I'm in a really bug dense area, keep the bugs away from me. I have my sweatpants at night, you know, stay warm. I have shorts that, you know, to change into if I want to hike in shorts. And I have my 511 Tanatsuko pants. They're great pants. They're, you know, they have cargo pockets. These are from Map and Compass up here. Other things, you know, under the size. This is destruction. Um, this is very durable material. Um, bug proof, water resistant. You know, just a great rough fit pants. I love it. <coughs> I have multiple pairs of socks, wool, wool cotton mix, just cotton, you know, all kinds of socks. Bring extra pairs of socks. It's cold at night. Let's talk food. Well, before food, let's talk gloves. Bring work gloves. God, then bring, work, bring work gloves because you're going to be out there. You're going to be collecting wood. You're going to be building stuff you want. You don't want to end up your day, you know, end up the day with dirty, like, you know, splintery hands. You want your hands to stay, you know. Stay okay. This is little Turkish coffee pots. I love my Turkish coffee when I go camping. So these are in Arabic are called finjan. This is a finjan. I bring two. Just one to loan to a friend. Love these little guys. You just put your one spoon of coffee, one spoon of sugar, put it onto the fire, and I don't care. I don't mind if the ash gets in there. It adds to the spice of the coffee, and you're good. Um, this is my Stanley stainless steel pot. Comes with two cups. You can order these on Amazon as well. Don't really recall the price. This I recommend to clip off because it will melt if you put straight into the campfire. And just re you know uh, replace this after you clip this plastic piece off with a keychain ring. That will do well. This over here will lock it in. You put this here. You put that there. You open it up. This is locked. It won't. You're good. Um, I have my multi-tools, my Leatherman Sidekick, has a bl two blade, you have a blade, you have your saw, you have your can opener, I have my Swiss Army knife, I um, have my lip balm to start fires with, and I have my instruments, and my jaw harp, and my other one, and my harmonicas. It's good to have music out there, you know, on the campfire, enjoy yourself. I have my Gorilla Tape. This thing is amazing. This can, really strong glue on this, and this can patch up pretty much anything. From a tent to a leak to anything, you, you, you want this stuff out there. It's good to have it. Um, okay, let's talk food. I'm going out there for a few days, so I'm going to pack, this is one day, well, yeah, this is one day's worth of food. This is for like breakfast, I have my oatmeal, I have my vitamin C packets, I have my salmon packets, I have my sardines, ramen noodles, and all my cliff bars and protein bars and nature valley bars and my oatmeals, and I have my ravioli for nighttime, my vegetables, extra spam, all kinds of stuff. I have, uh, as well, I have some pasta, some pasta sauce, some beans, honey candies, granola. I have my tea, my coffee, 
and sugar, honey. Uh, this is a little spices, spice section I put together. This is um, sriracha sauce in a ma little mason jar. This is a spice that I made myself. This is a dehydrated, this is dried lemon peel with uh, black pepper, freshly crushed, pink Himalayan salt, and some dry garlic as well. Just all crushed together in one thing, and it's a good allspice. You can use it pretty much on anything. It tastes awesome. This is for my pasta. This is basil, oregano, and uh, onion powder, and some black pepper. And anything I didn't cover yet? I think I did cover pretty much all of it. Um, bring a lot of water. This is my camelback right here. Bring lots and lots of water. Okay? Drink, drink, drink. That's all I gotta say. Drink, drink, drink. And if you feel you ran out of water and you don't have any other source of water, turn back. Go to Walmart, pick up some water. Drink, drink, drink. Um, that's all I got for you today. Stay safe out there. Pack well. Over and out.